everyone, today we will do a Deli Halakha, but exceptional Deli Halakha. We'll go down to the fields, as we say, and we will see the actual kitchen and exactly how to coach the kitchen. Uh, we can't cover all the topics, all the details, so we will divide it to two parts or maybe to three parts. So we'll start today with the stove, with the oven, and with the countertop, with the microwave, and the hot plate. Yeah? Okay. So the first thing that we need to know, that we need to clean perfectly the countertop in all sides to make it clean and dry before you coach it. That's the first step. The second step that we need to know is we need to boil water from the kettle and water needs to be bubbling. Yeah? After it's bubbling, we pour the water on it from all the sides and all the corners. Okay? And that's the way to kosher the, the countertop. Um, now, that will be good if you have a marble one. A marble counter, uh, marble uh, uh, counter. But if you have a wood, wood can be, uh, you can ruin the wood, you can ruin it, you can destroy the corners. So I will suggest to clean it, just clean it, and je then put the foil on it. Yeah? So in general, those that put the foil, even in marbles, it's not necessarily in Koda to the Alakha. It's good to do it, but you don't have to do it. But in this case, when you have wood and you're concerned that it can get ruined, in that case, you can put, uh, clean it with water, not hot water, because it will get ruined, and then put a foil on it, and then you can use it for Pesach. Okay, now we'll get, we'll talk about the stove, the, uh, the oven. The oven. Uh, with the stove, we have three steps that we need to be very careful with. The first one is, we need to make sure that it's clean. So therefore, we open the oven, we clean for all the corners, all the niches, all the, uh, the places that they have because crumbs fall bits and pieces and all, the, all over the stove and then after we clean it and it's perfect shiny and clean we wait 24 hours yeah? after we make sure that it's clean thoroughly we wait 24 hours and then we put it in the highest temp uh, temperature and after the oven is in the on the level of the highest temperature we wait half an hour, 45 minutes, and then after that, we can use the oven. Now, and that's important, the trays, the baking trays that we have, this is, requires libun. We can't just clean it, we can't just leave it in the oven and put it in the highest uh, te temperature. It has to be libun, and since libun can ruin the, the trays, the baking trays, therefore, I will suggest to buy new one or use different different uh, trays. Okay? We can't do it all together with the oven. So we will kosher the oven, but we take out the trays. We don't use the trays. For Pesach, we use different trays. Okay? That's very important to know. Now, we'll talk about we'll talk about the the, the tripod. Yeah? The tripod. And then during the year, during the year, meat and milk and things get mixed. And, um, but we're not concerned about it. As we know, we don't have a special oven for meat and special oven for, for to milk, dairy. We use all, all together because the fire burns it. But in Pesach, we are much, 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 more, much more stricter. And therefore, what we do is we pour hot water on it. Those that can put it. In, in boiling pot, on a uh, bubbling pot, that's the best way to do it. Those that can't do it, they can pour water on it and then cover it, wrap it with the foil. Okay, wrap it the corners, especially the corners, with a special foil um, and then it's uh, kosher to, uh, to pass. Okay, so now let's talk about, oh, okay, the microwave. We have the microwave over here. The same process that we have with the stove applies also with the stove, with a with a microwave we clean it carefully thoroughly in all the sides we wait 24 hours we take a cup of water we put in it inside and we put it for 10 minutes and it steams because all the water it's kind of the the, the chametz is the, the steam so therefore we put the water clean water some people put even some soap in the water 
not necessarily. And then you put it in there and they wait for five minutes and then the microwave is kosher to pes for Pesach. Now, let's talk about the hot plate. The hot plate, the problem with the hot plate is during the Shabbat, dry food, we put dry food directly on the hot plate and then it absorbs the, the, the taste, the flavor of the chametz. And that, and because that, we need to kosher it in three different and three steps. The first one is first clean it, clean it properly with hot water. Some even say to plug it, and when it's hot, while it's hot, to pour hot water on it. Rabbi that says you don't have to do it, but some are really strict in, in that uh, area, and they say I have to put it, plug it when it's warm, hot, boiling hot, and then pour hot water on it. The second thing that we do is highly recommended to. Covered with the foil because bread and barakas and kanish, all the stuff will, will touch the, the surface, surface of the, of the, of the plata or the hot plate. So, therefore, we cover it with the foil and then we, put, then we can use it for Pesach. So, three levels again, I'm saying clean it carefully with hot water, then wait for 24 hours, and then the third. The third thing to do is to cover it with a special uh, foil, yeah, a thin, a thin foil, and um, that's that's the end of the story of the hot plate. So we talked about the hot plate, we talked about the the countertop, we talk about the microwave, we talk about the, the stove, and so tomorrow we will talk about the sink. Sink is also a process that we need to talk about. We will talk about the the freezer, okay. The freezer, and we'll talk about the coffee machines. Uh, what else do we have? Ah, this one. Many times they put they put bread on it, on the top. So we'll talk about it tomorrow, and then I think we will cover all the topics. And I'm gonna uh, with this clip, I'm gonna put a list of all the items and all the things that I can't talk. It will take me a long uh, a while. So I will send it together with this clip. And whoever has any questions, please. You know my my phone, you know my uh, mobile te telephone, uh, my number. Please call me. I'm open. That's the reason I'm here. All the very best. Have a great day.